Is this going to be a game changer for soldering? I certainly hope that it is. Today we're going to do a Magnetic Helping Hands workstation review. This was sent to me as a free review product and they sell on Amazon under the brand No EVS Big. I will link that in the description below the product and check that out if you're interested by the end of the video. I'm kind of excited about this because I've never had anything like it. If you saw how I solder, um, I just make do with what I got. I had an old helping hands with a magnifying glass. It was totally obliterated. So this is a welcome change. Um, pretty excited to get to it. So let's go ahead and get started. This whole type of setup is very new to me. This is the helping hands that I had previously and it fell apart, very frustrating to use. So what we're gonna do here today is go through all the parts and then we're gonna solder a board at the end and just see how it does. So inside the box is, the box is actually pretty heavy. On the scale, it weighed five pounds, so I was a little bit surprised. And in the box, you get uh, a letter from No EVS Big. It's the brand name they sell under. And an image of what the product is supposed to look like and a list of items in the box. Now, when I took these out, they all stuck together. I don't know what type of magnet uh, these things have on them. And I looked on Amazon and it just says strong magnet. So. <laughs> It is a strong magnet, regardless of what type. I don't have any feeling these are going to fall over with any circuit board that you connect to it. So that's a good thing. Then it's got some um, cushion pads that go on the bottom of the platform. And I call these things pillars or pylons. Yeah, I don't know what they're called, but they hold circuit boards. They're pretty neat. I really like them. And there's this little arm right here that holds a heat gun. If you need to incorporate a heat gun into your uh, workstation, or it could probably clamp anything, really. But uh, it's very flexible, and you can tighten it down with that uh, nut right there, and it gets very rigid. I don't know how much it can hold. I have a feeling it's quite a bit for its size. So wow. here is the platform, and it is powder coated. I was gonna say sugar coated, but I don't think so. No, it's powder coated, which is nice because it's not smooth and things don't slip and slide around. It's got the uh, name brand, the No EVS Big name brand, I don't know if you saw that. And the bottom of it here are the cushioned uh, feet, which help it a lot, makes it easier to pick up, and uh, raises it up off the desk a little bit, which is nice. And these things stick on there very hard, as you can see, and the best way to put them on without just sounding like you're smacking the board or the platform is to put it on sideways and kind of kind of tilt it on um so these alligator clips you just stick in here actually you're supposed to screw the the nut on and then put the alligator clip in and then tighten it that way and you do that for all of them and i do like the rubber around the alligator teeth if those are alligator clips those are alligator teeth right um, no, I do like the rubber. It does protect your board, which is nice. And here are the pylons, and it, it comes with six of them, and they are, they want to stay together. So, pull those out of the package here, break them apart, pull them apart, and it comes with six. You just, um, you probably only need four, unless you're doing something really big. Here, as you can see, the pylons are very shiny. They do have vibrant collar, and... I don't know if I've never seen them before but uh, so whether they're novel or not I don't know but I think they're neat and they do a good job of holding the circuit board still the hardest part is getting them in the hole and that's not too bad yeah so I like that and it also fits an Arduino if you ever need to fix your Arduino all right I have a three axis accelerometer they're pretty small so I wanted to start with that and I'm going to clip them on here. Like I said, I like the rubber. The rubber does protect the board. Especially the smaller boards like this right here. The smaller modules. And uh, this would be really easy to solder. I didn't solder this one. But I went ahead and clamped two on there. That thing ain't going anywhere. <laughs> so it is very sturdy. And the arms don't bend real easy. They're, they're kind of rigid but not too bad. And you can see here, I can go all the way down them, and the base is a little bit flared out, which is nice. It's a nice look. 
very sturdy but uh, I think I'm gonna solder something bigger I don't wanna it'd be fine to do this but I've always got it seems like an extra spark fun mp3 player board that I need to solder the headers onto so that's what we're gonna do here we're gonna go ahead and put the header in all right now we're ready to clamp the mp3 player shield onto the alligator clip I just need to scoot it over a little bit so that the camera can get a better view scoot it over to there still not a great view but uh, you'll see whether there's any movement or not while I'm while I'm doing this and it does hold up pretty well if you're wondering what that is on the uh, the pins I've been using this SRA flux number 135 it's actually really good it's a rosin paste flux and your solder joints turn out great I think at least mine do for the most part and as you'll see here um, the alligator clip came a little loose not a big deal maybe I didn't tighten it enough uh, maybe it came loose and somewhere along the way but um, that happened a couple times other than that um, the stand is very good quality the arm is very good quality it doesn't want to move a lot I just have to screw that thing in a couple times like I said not a big deal much better than what I was using before and uh, it's like amateur hour here <laughs> because um, I had to get back into it if you don't solder frequently it ends up looking like this and that's fine because it'll get better and that's easy to clean up but anyway yeah the stand so far has done a great job I think it's I think it's an excellent piece of equipment good quality and I'm gonna solder the other side because this is embarrassing alright here's the other side again I put my paste on there you can see it there with the toothpick in it I just spread it on with a toothpick and then all you have to do is apply the uh, the solder or the um, all you have to do is apply the solder strand there and it just melts right into the the solder joint it's good stuff and I don't see any movement this time around so that's good so according to the post the Amazon post this is a large 11.4 inch by 7.1 inch base and it is over weighs over 3.3 pounds I knew it was heavy uh, solid enough so that it won't tip won't slide or tip it's a powder coated finish it makes it durable and professional looking it does it looks quite nice and it's got the rubber feet to protect your your desk and keep your station from slipping so I would agree with that it uh, it does seem to be very good quality I'm very happy with it um, it also comes with four gooseneck arms I guess is officially what they call that and uh, two 11 inch arms two 4.7 inch arms for smaller work smaller jobs uh, each arm has a magnetic base so you can move them anywhere on the on the platform which is nice and they're fully adjustable and flexible which is true and they're sturdy they're firm but not too firm all right I have to unclamp it and show you my work I got very comfortable using this thing I wasn't initially but it does make it easier to solder and as you can see I've done an amazing job no, just kidding it, I've done an okay job uh, this side's easy to clean up but I'm happy with that too that's when I was getting used to it good job here is the C clamp that uh, that's for holding the, the heat gun it doesn't have to be a heat gun it can be a magnifier a flashlight a soldering iron if you need it for that but you uh, you screw it on and as you can see you can really bolt that thing down and hold something tight and uh, it's very flexible like I said in the beginning until you uh, twist that screw there in the middle and you can really tighten it up it's got a very firm magnet on the base so this thing's not going anywhere and I've been actually pretty impressed with it I do like this I've I think I will use it. I don't know for a heat gun, but um, definitely for something. Flashlight or magnifier uh, seems like a good idea to me. But it's very easy to tighten and untighten. It looks great. 
And that C-clamp is actually pretty wide. And it's got a, a foam grip so it doesn't let go or slide. And it's very easy to tighten as you can see with one finger. And we'll put the uh, soldering iron in there. I don't know why you would ever do that, but that's all I had available at the time. So here's my flexibility test. Um, there's three points of articulation at the base, they're in the middle, and they're up by the C-clamp. And when you tighten that uh, screw there in the middle, everything tightens up and you can't move it. But when you release it, then it's flexible at all three of those uh, different joints, which I think uh, is great. It's very good quality. So there's my finished product. There it is. I'm very happy with this. I will be using it. And, uh, you know, I think it's good quality. It's built nice. Uh, the alligator clips are nice. Yeah, I've been very happy with this. I didn't solder anything with the, the pylons or the pillars, but I look forward to doing that as well. Thank you all for watching. If this was helpful to you, be sure to like the video by clicking the thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy this type of stuff. Also share it with somebody else who may find it beneficial, and I will see you again with another video.